So in an age where we're all talking about the decline of brick and mortar stores, it's not just Spirit Halloween that's opening at this time of year. So the brick and mortar expansion plans are actually pretty significant. Why? Yeah, I mean, we're an experiential brand. We have been from the beginning and retail makes up more than half of our business today. And we've had so much success and so much growth over the last couple of years. We did 21,000 events last year in our wow. stores. We've got 142 stores now. We'll do an upwards of 25,000 events. So the experience is really important. I think customers are looking for it and we like to give it to them. What do you mean by experience? I've, I've, I haven't experienced this myself. Yeah. So I think anytime you go into a retail store, you're looking for something, right, obviously. And we've been rooted in events from the very beginning and the large majority of those events are philanthropic by nature. Hmm. And in the local communities, we wanna be a part of that community. So the events that we have draw people into the store to, to help people in need. And that was kind of the core of when Kendra started the business. In 2002, she put a stake in the ground and said philanthropy is going to be really important to us and has been all these years later. Super interesting. How about social media? How much does that advertising um, and kind of, uh, what do they call it, self-driven uh, posting and things like that, how much does that drive sales? A lot. I mean, I think, you know, our, our constituency of customers spans a range from my 16-year-old daughter to my wife to my mother. And I think social media plays a big role in society today, so it's affecting everybody uh, in, the, in that range. Yeah, so she's, uh, but she was CEO until a couple of years ago. That's right. Uh, private equity still owns the company, or? No, nope. Kendra's a large majority owner of the business. Got uh, it. We have a new private equity partner, but they're minority partners. What can you tell us about the consumer overall right now, then? You, you guys kind of have a, a pretty good window at a time when people are very confused about whether they're stretched too thin or actually doing just fine. Well, I mean, our consumer, we're up almost 30% this year. We were up over 30% last year wow. in top line revenue with a tremendous amount of free cash flow. Our consumer is healthy. We offer a high value proposition, and we always have from the very beginning. And I think people are, are discerning. They're looking for an experience. They're wanting things that have value and we like to provide that to them. So I think the consumer overall, from a macro perspective, there's been a lot of pressure. There's been inflationary pressure, uh, macroeconomic pressure, but our consumer's been there, I think, because uh, we've made them the boss. I mean, we have a, one of our operating principles in the organization is the customer's our boss. She and he signs our paychecks, <laughs> and we keep them at the center of everything that we do, and I think brands that do that have been successful, and we're one of them. Where are your stores primarily located? All over the country. We've got, like I said, 142 right now, but we're in 32 states across the country company was started in Austin, Texas, and I think similar to a lot of brands that are different than a lot of brands that start on the coast and come in, we started in the middle of the country and went out. And our fastest growing region in the country right now is actually the Northeast, which is where I'm from, so I'm happy to is it? happy about that. Yeah. Well, we're happy that the Northeast can be fast growing <laughs> in yeah. some ways, yeah. and that that speaks to, again, kind of what's been going on with the consumer pocketbook. How do you identify what the customer wants? I mean, it's like the Steve Jobs conundrum. He would say, I don't care what they want. I don't care what the focus groups say. This is what I want to create. Well, I, I think that methodology is a little different nowadays, and we listen. You know, we listen to each other internally in the company, but... We're always asking the customer questions. What does she want to see more from us? What does he want to see more from us? We've got a great relationship with them, and I think when you have a great relationship with anybody in your life and you have transparency, you know, you, you get information back. So they've told us very loudly and clearly what they want from us, and we're delivering it to them. All right. Tom, it's great to check in with you. Thanks, Thank you. We'll be watching your continued success. I mean, 30% top line in this kind of environment, second year in a row. I'm sure people are salivating. Thank you. Appreciate it. Tom Nolan with Kendra Scott.